let's have a moment. So, I haven't really been vlogging because honestly, I just like haven't been feeling that great. I've just been going through it and like just like, um, I don't know that I'm ready to like go into all the details of like what's going on, but uh, my friend Jake has pushed me and told me that you have to be vulnerable because you know you guys maybe are going through stuff as well and this is the way that I handle things so the best ways for me to snap out of a sad mad not glad <laughs> mood is three things music right not just listening to music but like legit singing at the top of your lungs um, yoga going to a class or just doing it at home and the third <laughs> is weed <laughs> but um yeah i'm not trying to like suggest that for you but that's just like what works for me um so yeah i'm gonna take you around my day today nothing too special but <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that Classico, aka Steph, and I tried a new coffee place. It's called Cafe Republic. We got rose lattes because I need the energy today to clean my fucking house. Steph, Hi! we're vlogging today, so okay. Steph is coming over. Food. Yes, from so chill. Um, I couldn't go to her event last night. It was a it was a Day of the Dead event, though, right? Yeah. Where was it? Hawthorne. In Hawthorne. Yeah. At What's that place called? Oh, sure. Genesis Gifts and more. Little crystal shop. I just made a weird face at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I couldn't go last night. I finished teaching kind of late and yeah. So, I get the privilege of having my own personal chef who steals my shirts and all my clothes. I do. <laughs> but that's okay because I steal hers too. Hi, she just doesn't notice. You're up. Get out of my house. Mushkin, you don't feel that way about Steph, do you? El Clasico? Who made the soap? <laughs> I don't really know where I'm going. <laughs> um, the wall's there. Bye. Yes. Whoop. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, struggle is real. Come on, man. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Oh, cuteness. On my way to Yoga 108 to teach the 5.30 class, my new 5.30 class slot. So, God, I can't speak, but um, yeah, literally the hardest thing that you'll do as a yoga instructor is have to go and teach a class when you're not feeling like 100. So, that is what I'm working with right now. So, I am cultivating some zen, some bliss on my way there with music and mantras. And by the time we get there and we get our little meditation going, I'm just gonna flow right with them. So that's what we're doing. We're headed to Yoga 108 in Long Beach. Not too much traffic. We're kind of flying through here, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Should be getting there a little bit early, so. Oh, way too soon. Still moving though.
teaching at Yoga 108. The class went perfectly. Um, it was cool because there was a girl that um, I taught a different studio that was there that I haven't seen in forever, so that's always fun. Now I am headed home. I think Heather is coming over. So we shall see. I think she's got a new tattoo. Um, I'm debating right now because I have an electric car whether to just risk it for the biscuit and drive home or if I should charge up again but I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it because I'm living life on the edge today. No shock to you guys, but business. <sighs> yeah, business. So, um, you know that like thing that I've been like bummed out about all day that I haven't really like told you guys what it is. Well, it's better now, so I'm gonna sh shift my energy to like whoa, whoa, sorry, to just to high vibes. Yeah, high vibes. I can't even speak because my brain's like all over the place right now, so I'm gonna do a little bit of God's meditation and <laughs> peace the fuck out. 